took a chance and sold up and gave away everything that I own to experience some much needed adventure in my life. So come along and experience it with me every step of the way on my journey around the UK waterways and in life on my little channel now about cruising and lifestyle. Good day YouTubers, hope you're well. Today's journey we're going from Marsworth up to Pittston on the Grand Union Canal. We had a few little problems nothing that we couldn't get over so I hope you enjoy. I've been hunkered down in this mooring at Marsworth for a few days it's been high winds and storms so it's not been very pleasant but this morning it's looking lovely The last time I came up to this lock I was getting chased by cows. This time I'm getting stampeded by ramblers. I don't know what's more scary. If you get some half decent weather you can't beat this time of the year for beauty with all the leaves changing colour. That's my opinion anyway. I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to jump off where there's a little staircase just before the bridge and take the centre line up with me to close the gates and hope that the boat doesn't float away. That seemed to work okay. I'll have to remember that one. It'd be even easier on single locks because it'll hold the boat in position. Here's the gates closed. Where I'm single handing, I'm always trying different things to try and make it a bit easier. Some things I keep, some things I discard, but you won't learn if you don't try. I suppose that's the same in all walks of life. Up there on the left is the turn off for the Aylesbury Arm. Unfortunately they've closed it up until more or less Christmas. You can see all the blue CRT boats there where they're working on it. Very disappointing for me because I was looking forward to going down there. He don't seem to care though. All he's worried about is his next fish breakfast. Looking at the canal guide, just after this bridge coming up, there's a boat services point, which I quite badly need to visit. I've just noticed that it's over there on the left before the bridge, so I'm going to have to put the brakes on. As you can see, the brakes are not great on these things. By brakes, I mean putting it in reverse. The faster you go on one of these things, the longer it takes to stop. That's why it's best to just put it along. Good job I spotted that when I did. Because if I'd have gone through the bridge, I wouldn't have bothered stopping. God knows where the next service point is. Could be miles away.
Got my favourite job coming up soon. Blech. You can probably guess what that is. I always start filling up the boat with water first because that takes a good half hour depending on the pressure. Then I get rid of the rubbish and then empty the toilet cassettes. You need a special BW key to open up all these places. And this is where you empty the dreaded toilet cassettes. That's as much as I'm going to show you of that though, because no one wants to see me reaching. I'm glad all that's done. That means I've not got to worry about any of that now for a week or so. These trees are starting to change colour. Lovely. We must be very close now of coming out of Hertfordshire and going into Buckinghamshire. I'm not sure. I'll have a look at the maps when I'm more up. I do like to know where I am in this world. There's a sign up there on the bridge pointing to the Red Lion pub. wonder if there's anyone out there who knows what it's like. If there is, leave it in the comments. Some lucky person lives there. I never expected it to be so nice up here on the canals, but I'm really enjoying it. Back in the day, the old boatmen used to call it the fields around this area. My boat safety certificate is coming up for renewal soon and there's a few bits of work that I've got to do on the stove mainly and I've been keeping my eye out for a chandler's around here because I need a few bits of materials if I can't find one I'm hoping to find some materials in Leighton Buzzard because that looks a busy place but we'll see That slurping noise is so relaxing. I'm coming up to the second of three locks that I've got to do today. And I'm in a sort of world of my own pulling over here onto the lock landing without paying attention. And I've not noticed that the lock gates are open. If you watch me you'll see the penny drop. Good job there's no one about to see me, eh? I would have felt really stupid. Don't worry though, I'll put it on YouTube so thousands of people can see me. Waltz and all, that's what I say. When I got in this lock, I noticed something that was really sad. A deer had fell in the lock and drowned. I won't show it because it's not a pretty sight. The reason I'm running is because the gates up this end won't stay shut. So if I let a bit of water out quickly, 
the pressure will shut the gates. I say running, but it's walking fast at my age. The dead deer is wedged up against the left hand gate and I wouldn't be able to open it properly. That's why I'm throwing the rope over to pull H over to the right hand side. And I'm going out that gate instead. I didn't bother getting back on the boat as I'd have had to have climbed over an obstacle course on the roof with the coal and the planks so I just pulled it out this is the last lock that I'm going to be doing today so I can just relax from now on or so I thought it's been a bit nippy today standing still on the back of one of these narrow boats so working these locks warms you up a bit I'd like to take the time to thank all you people out there that have subscribed to my channel and gave me a lot of encouragement in the comments as well. It's very heartfelt so thank you very much. I've had a lot of very useful advice in the comments which I've used. Some which weren't so useful but I suppose that comes along with the territory when you put yourself out there. But overall, it's been a pleasant surprise to me that some people seem to like my little journeys. But then again, there's no account for taste. I think this is called Cook's Wolf. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. It's a sheltered little area but I'm not sure that I'd like to pay for a mooring right next to a railway line. Not that the noise bothers me too much. This is an unusual angle for a bridge. There was a similar looking bridge to this in one of my earlier vlogs. It was built by George Stevenson and people was moaning that they encased the metal beams in concrete at a later date and they spoiled the look of it. I wonder if this is the same. Looks like a swing bridge coming up in front of me. Something that I wasn't expecting. I think I'm going to have to pay more attention to the canal guidebook before I set off in the future. That's twice today that I've got it wrong. I'm 
going to go and have a look and see how I can tackle it because all the workings for the swing bridge are on the off towpath side if you open it over there you can't get back to the boat it's times like this when you need some crew I've noticed there's a bollard behind the trees and I'm going to nose H over there try and tie him up and then operate the bridge Another way of doing it would have been waiting for another boat to come along and then going through with them. But I haven't seen a boat moving all day, I could be here for ages waiting. H is in the way of me swinging the bridge open so I'm going to have to pull him back a bit oh no I was lucky there that the camera didn't go in the water got the bridge open and there's a kind man walking his dog who's going to close it after me and that's going to save me going through the same performance on the other side closing it so I was lucky they came along when these canals was designed they didn't have solo boaters in mind it was for crews carrying goods I don't suppose they ever imagined it would be for people like me my journeys around the country single handing that's going to be a problem that comes up many times so that's something that I'm going to have to think about but for now all I'm thinking about is putting the kettle on and having a cup of tea so I'm going to pull over behind this boat I ended up staying there that last bit was a bit of a performance with that swing bridge wasn't it but we got over it as usual if you're thinking about subscribing to my channel don't do it just yet watch a few of the other videos to make sure you like it and if you do then subscribe so, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time.